Alright guys, as you can see, so I'm at 306.6. So I'm up a few pounds, I'm up like uh, almost full three pounds. And I'm, I'm not upset about it at all. As I said before, I lost a ton of water weight, you know, so I had been down 51, almost 52 pounds before. Now I'm back up a couple of pounds uh, this week, but I've dropped uh, another belt notch, uh, another notch in my belt. So I'm now at the fourth notch in my belt, and I'm really excited about that. I'm doing good. Um, I have lost almost another half inch off my waist. So I know that things are going to be slowing down as, as we progress. And, um, <sighs> I know of a few other things that I can do to help get me back on track so that way I'm losing some more consistently. Uh, the problem with, with biohacking and getting all these things in place is that you, you get all the gears in place, but if, if something's off by just a little bit or if you miss out on one of the gears during one of the days you screw everything up for that day almost. I have been inconsistent with certain things and such as my lemon water intake. I've been doing better, I've been doing better. Um, but just being so busy, I, I haven't prepped for the week and that's what I'm getting ready for um, on Monday is I'm gonna be prepping for the entire week because tomorrow's Easter, it's Saturday right now, it's Saturday, April, uh, April 15th and uh, tomorrow's April 16th, which is sun uh, Sunday, Easter Sunday. So I'm getting ready to go to a barbecue. I just wanted to do my, my weigh-in real quick. So it's 306.6, not horrible, not horrible. I'm not like super ecstatic about it, but I'm also not really worried about it because I know that my, my weight loss was gonna fluctuate as, as things went by. Um, I wanted to get my weigh-in done right now because I just wanted to get it done. Uh, because tomorrow's gonna be Easter, I'm gonna be stuffing my face with, with, uh, with pork and vegetables and bacon, you know, ham, bacon, and vegetables, which are the things that I, because next week I'm introducing pork into my diet, which is tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm super ecstatic about that because I get to have bacon, guys, which is completely keto-friendly and actually helps with ke uh, ketosis because of the saturated fats the animal saturated fats. So I'm super psyched about that. I just went to BJ's and bought three pounds of bacon. <laughs> so, uh, oh, can't wait. Can't wait. But, um, getting ready for Getting ready for my, uh, my barbecue that I'm going to with my buddies. I got a pound of salmon. I got some vegetables, some asparagus and some, uh, a summer squash and a zucchini going to be making those but uh so the cantaloupe is for and the cantaloupe oranges apples blueberries and strawberries grapes and pineapple are for the church yes i go to church and yes my my kitty is guarding them ellie guards all my stuff she's a good cat <laughs> she's annoyingly adorable that's that's what she is so anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that real quick. And uh, no, I cannot have any of the fruit salad. Fruits, uh, fruit salad is not ketogenic friendly. <sighs> there are some people that talk about low carb and having fruits integrated into it because it's a fructose. Yes, it is a natural sugar and I will be upgrading to that later on, but much later. Right now, my diet is very, very strict. I am not gonna be having fructose. Uh, some people do 50 to 60 grams of car uh, carbs and sugars a day. Uh, so they include like an apple or a banana or some berries or something like that, which is absolutely fine if that's what you're doing. I'm doing ketosis right now, which is 20 to 25 grams of carbs. And I cannot allow any fructose or sugar into my system because it can help. Uh, it causes fluctuations. I know beca uh, because I ended up having uh, an over overage of... I had like a horrible mood swing and I had a huge headache the other day and I was trying to figure out what the heck I did and I had had a whole bunch of vegetables that day and I went to uh, the restaurant, um, I went to a restaurant and I had their salmon and they had like this little side of salad that I ate and then I realized it was a raspberry vinaigrette which 
only was like maybe a teaspoon or something like that of of whatever dressing that they had. It was some sort of ras some sort of vinaigrette of some sort, which maybe had a gram or two of sugar. But along with all the other vegetables that I've been eating, such cruciferous vegetables, high fiber vegetables, I didn't knock myself out of ketosis. But I sure as heck did mess up something because I was lethargic. I had a huge headache. I was I was down for the count, and I had to push through the entire day. I just I mean, and my my mood swing. I was having like crazy mood swings. I was very irritable. I had to like pretty much meditate the entire day. I know that some of you guys are like, what are you a yogi or something? No, I I just <laughs> there's certain things that I do, certain uh, certain practices. Uh, I I use breathing techniques. I also have mantras that that help center me when I'm I'm feeling frustrated or angry, so that way I don't you know I don't snap. And usually, like I wouldn't have to do that, but I was really upset over like the littlest things, and it was crazy. It was just funny. Um, I say it's funny, but the other people didn't think it was that funny because everybody thought I had like a scowl on my face all day and, you know, they were just like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. I'm like, I'm, I'm working through it, but I know that I'm being irrational right now. Like, I know that, you know, so I wasn't like reacting to anybody. But anyway, that's, I just wanted to say that real quick. Uh, so right now I am just under, uh, I'm, I'm right at a 50 inch waist. And I'm at 356 pounds. So for week seven, I went up three pounds. Weight fluctuates, water, everything, uh, food digestion. Um, I'm not upset about it. I know that my weight's gonna like up and down over the next couple of weeks. Um, but that's why it's a 13 week experiment to see what you're able to do. And I'm not going to allow myself to be deterred just by a number. Because there's more to that. I now dropped an entire uh, notch in my belt that I bought three weeks ago. So I'm on the fourth notch. So that's three full notches that I'm down. I'm on, I'm on that fourth notch. I mean, that's that's huge to me. So, and I'm now in a 2XL t-shirt. And it fits, it fits good. It's not like, it's not like super tight that it's constricting. I mean, it's snug. <laughs> it's snug, it's form fitting. But it's not super constricting, and it looks good on me. Like it, do it doesn't look horrible, and I'm happy about that. So I just wanted to, you know, let you guys be reminded. It's not, it's not all about the number. You know, there, I'm, I'm feeling better. Uh, I'm getting things down. I'm, I'm getting to a more sustainable lifestyle. I'm adding. So tomorrow is Easter Sunday. I'm having pork and bacon, and I'm gonna be having. Uh, a bunch of vegetables and stuff. So it's my bulk day. I'm totally fine with it. I'm totally cool with it. I can't wait. Uh, I definitely lessened up on the carbs today. So that way in preparation for tomorrow and Monday as well, I'm going to lessen on the carbs because most likely, uh, lessen on the vegetables because most likely I'm, I'm going to have a good amount of vegetables tomorrow. But uh, that's pretty much where we stand. So remember guys, be informed, stay motivated, live big. Wow.